By following the Egger Advanced Fitting Guide, the structural integrity of the boards will be covered by the Egger Lifetime Guarantee. First, you need to select the Egger Structural Board. You can choose from Egger P5, Egger Peel Clean Extra, or Egger Protect. Next, choose one of Egger's two fitting methods. Both are suitable for use with solid timber or engineered joists. Method A is the Egger Advanced Structural Flooring System, which uses Egger joint and joist adhesive and minimal mechanical fixings, and is recommended if a warranty provider's guarantee is required. Method B is the Egger Advanced Glue Only System, which uses Egger joint and joist adhesive. For method A, which uses Egger joint and joist adhesive and minimal mechanical fixings, you must follow the next five steps. First, you must apply two parallel beads of Egger joint and joist adhesive to the top of the joist. Next, lay the boards across the joist and fix the first row of boards with one mechanical fixing per joist. The mechanical fixing should be 2.5 times the board thickness and should be a minimum of 8 mm from the perimeter edge. Then apply one bead of Egger joint and joist adhesive directly to the shoulder of the tongue and into the groove of the boards. Adhesive should foam out of the joint and should be left to dry. If there are any joints where the adhesive has not foamed, they should be resealed using additional adhesive. Egger recommends a mechanical fixing pattern every 1200 millimeters. Remember, this is only if you require a warranty provider's guarantee. All short end joints require an additional mechanical fixing and should fall in the center of a secured joist. This includes the perimeter edge. Once the first row is laid, apply Egger joint and joist adhesive to the next section of joists and stagger the boards by approximately half a board to form a brick bond laying pattern. Finally, seal any exposed mechanical fixings, perimeter edges, cut edges, and stairwells using Egger joint and joist adhesive. Once the building is watertight, you can remove excess adhesive. For method B, which uses Egger joint and joist adhesive, you must follow the next five steps. First, you must apply two parallel beads of Egger joint and joist adhesive to the top of the joist. Next, lay the boards across the joist and fix the first row of boards with one mechanical fixing per joist. The mechanical fixing should be 2.5 times the board thickness and should be a minimum of 8 mm from the perimeter edge. Then, apply one bead of Egger joint and joist adhesive directly to the shoulder of the tongue and into the groove of the boards. Adhesive should foam out of the joint and should be left to dry. If there are any joints where the adhesive has not foamed, they should be resealed using additional adhesive. Once the first row is down, apply Egger joint and joist adhesive to the next section of joists and stagger the boards by approximately half a board to form a brick bond laying pattern. All short ends should fall on the center of a secure joist including the perimeter edge. Finally, seal any exposed mechanical fixings, perimeter edges, cut edges, and stairwells using Egger joint and joist adhesive. Once the building is watertight, you can remove excess adhesive. For further information, please visit egger.com forward slash lifetime.